Halim, did I lose you? <laughs> Halim. Halim, no. So, you have proof that Muhammad's the actual prophet? Yeah. What is it? Uh, that when I compare him to in the in the Bible, and when I compare the Quran to the Bible, I found that the Quran actually speaks uh, very good about all the prophets, not like the Bible. The Bible talks about the prophets like they are thieves, adultery, they uh, lying, they stealing, all the bad stuff in uh, about the prophets in the Bible. But when it comes to the Quran, all the good stuff about the prophets. So when God chose a prophet, that means he chose a good man, not adultery man, not a killer, not uh, a, a liar, not a thief. You know, that's that's gotcha. my proof. So you're saying you're saying that a liar and an adulterer cannot be a prophet? Yes, yes. Muhammad committed you, adultery say, and lied. Yeah, Muhammad, Muhammad committed adultery and he lied. Oh, perfect. Show me show me the evidence, please. Show you the evidence? Yeah. I don't know if I have it. <laughs> I can try to find it. Yeah, go ahead. You have all it's your live stream every you have all the time. No one is gonna take you down like you do take me down. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. I you appreciate it. So you're not gonna you're not gonna remove me from the live as I look for it? <laughs> Come on, man. That's <laughs> yours, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate you being gracious. I oh, man. I, I hope that you do the same, man. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Uh, all right. Is that Bukhari 344? Let's Let's see which one that is. Let's see. Let's go ahead and search the Hadiths and see here. Um, are can you, you can you focus a little bit? I want I want to clarify something, Avery. Can I clarify something? Clarify something. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, usually, Muslims uh, take Quran word for word. We don't doubt a single word in the Quran. But the Hadith, because the Quran is from God, we believe this. But the Hadith is hand is is man man written uh, words. Like some people could also put some fake words against the Prophet, and and they use it for their own benefit. So please, you if you wanna, sorry, how many times a, a day do you pray? Five times a day. Uh, every, I know you're gonna talk about that. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Go it comes ahead. from the Hadith, right? Of course, but it comes from authentic hadith, and it, and 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 also yeah. this authentic yeah. hadith is not narrated by one person. It has to be narrated no, by many you. different. No, I got you. I, I I get it. So you got to use authentic hadith in order to you know when you're when you're using hadith to make points or you know yeah yeah I got you. I got you. I, well, I why like are you bringing the point, Avery? You're saying that uh, we cannot lie at all. Why are you bringing the point? Say it again. Are you saying that human cannot lie at all under any circumstances? Human cannot lie at all. Well, no, you, you say you yes, said, we can lie in some certain standards. And some you said you said you just asked me the question. You said okay. that a prophet cannot be a liar or and an adulterer. That's what you said. Yes, yes. Right, so I, 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 I'm about to show you Muhammad is both. As well about all the prophets, yeah. I'm about to show you Muhammad's both. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right. So we've got ourselves up here. We got Sunan on the side and put on the screen for us. Now, just to make sure, it says that the grade is Sahih 3959. Mm -hmm. So, adul adultery specifically, right? Adultery is sleeping with, like, you're a married man and you sleep with someone who's not your wife, right? That's adultery, right? Yeah. All right. I agree. Okay. So let's see what this Sahih, this authentic hadith says. It says, it was narrated from Anas that the messenger of Allah had a female slave with whom he had intercourse. But Aisha and Hafsa would not leave him alone until he said that she was forbidden for him. 
Then Allah, the mighty and sublime, revealed, O Prophet, why do you forbid for yourself that which Allah has allowed to you until the end of that verse? So according, according to this hadith, Muhammad committed adultery, promised that he wouldn't do it anymore, and then lied and came up with this revelation where Allah says that he actually is allowed to do it. All right, give me um, give me the number again of the hadith, please. It, it's on the screen, so it's Sunan Anasai 3959. So Muhammad committed adultery and lied about not doing it again. So he can't be a prophet according to your own standard. I'm just making a quick uh, CS. Of course, no worries. Muhammad committed adultery and then and lied about not doing it again. And then conveniently, Allah comes with a revelation saying, why did you forbid for yourself what I allowed for you? Amazing. The convenience, the timing and the convenience of that verse saying that Muhammad is actually allowed to continue to sleep with um, that female slave who he's not married to and who his wives have a problem with him sleeping with. Imagine the drama. Halim? Halim, you there? Halim, did I lose you? Halim, Halim, no! <laughs> oh, stay, stay, man. That was all right. <laughs> oh, you're there. You're a funny guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Why, why do you love, bring man. the Quran, man? Like because you, I know you're gonna, you're gonna. Usually, people attack Islam. They always bring this week hadith and go to this fishy website that they say lies about the Prophet, and then they use it. Why don't you stick to the Quran? Well, so uh, you the you Quran, I will both. be straight with you. I will be straight let, with you, and you will have a very strong point. Let me, let me tell you why right? I use both. Okay, let me tell you why I use both. One, I can go to the Quran, right? Because yeah. I can go to the verse that actually where the situation is, which is yeah. sixty-six. It's chapter sixty-six, verse one and two. Um. But it doesn't give me the background of the, of the situation, like what's going on, what's it talking about. The hadith gives me that information, and All right, let's, let's, it's authentic hadith. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the Quran. Then. This is a very easy one. This is a very easy one. Yeah, but let's let's go to the to, to the story. Just sit. It's gonna be very clear. I can't say, oh, it's a fake ayah. You know, I can't say it's a fake ayah. You know what I mean? But. But with the hadith, you know the hadith is we have so many weak hadith and false hadith. This is, and a, people, this is like, authentic, this is bro. I showed you. It's great. It's authentic. It's great, Sahih. It's not. It's not because the website I went. It was not actually the same number. It was not the same hadith under the number you gave me. It was not. It gave me a different hadith. Dude, the same right thing with the hadith the, you said right, about uh, go right, the, the right. spring. Halim, Halim, please. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I have it on the screen. Halim is my son. Oh my bad. What can I call Halim you? My son. Can I call you Abu Halim? Yeah, you know, Ahmed or Halim. In case if you think I'm coming with a fake name, no, Halim is still my son. So and my father name as well. So okay. you can call me either Ahmed, Halim, whatever. It's up to you. Ahmed, I call you Ahmed. Yeah. Okay. So so Ahmed, look, it's on the screen. This is Sunnah.com. The number is three nine five nine. It's great, Sahi. Okay. The reason yeah. why, if you yeah. find a, if you find a different hadith under the same numbering, it means you're not on the same website that I am. You're on a different website that's using a different numbering system. Okay, it's using okay. the older numbering system. I got it. I got it. But when you were talking to the previous uh, brother before, and you're talking about the sun sets in the in the in, in a hot spring. Uh, in a hot spring, uh, uh -huh. muddy water, or like this one. I uh -huh. went actually to this hadith while you were guys talking, 
and uh, and it was it was it was a weak hadith. It was not uh, it was not a strong hadith. It was as one by Ibn Utaybi there. Ibn Utaybi, the 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 scholars say he's a fake guy. This guy he put he put uh, false claims. And say well, the, the prophet. Well, Al-Abani so, said it's Sahih. It was a fake hadith. Uh, Al-Abani says it's Sahih. So. Yeah, um, I know. But he, I know Al-Abani said this. But also, when you go to Al-Bukhari, a Muslim, you will find the same people who narrated the hadith. They didn't say the sun sits in the muddy water. It says. So the what? They don't. De they don't deny it either. That's a different. Wait. They don't deny it either. But that's a different. No, subject they didn't. Right they now. didn't mention it. They didn't I, I, mention. I mean, respectfully. You're, you're shuffling to a different subject, please. Yeah, stay, okay. Stay focused for me. So we have the strong hadith. Okay. It's authentic. And we see that Muhammad committed adultery. And he also lied about not doing it again. This is what the problem is right now. Okay. According to your criteria you gave me, you said yeah. a prophet cannot be an adulterer and a liar. So then this yeah, means Muhammad is not true. a true prophet. And um, no, um, can I answer? I said I did. I did my research. I typed exactly the same thing you said, and I didn't. I didn't go to Sunan.com because it's a it's a fishy website. It's not. They say on weak hadith, it's a strong hadith, oh, and I on, found man. that this is not exist. This this hadith is a, is not exist. is is a weak hadith. I went to the authentic website to uh, Al Bukhari what, to what, uh, what? See, this, this is what I'm, and this what I'm, says, no, this is what I'm is talking bad. about, bro. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to you know. Um, the the, but the, what about the Quran the honesty, what about the man, Quran? It's, it's, it's like you're doing this on purpose. No, man. no, you just you go to the Quran. I told you this. Another, what, another what, was the, what was the what was the website that you brought up? Huh? What was the website that Sorry? you searched up that had a different number? It was, it was the, let me, let me get you the, let me, let me get you the you know, man, sources, I, of I guess, sources of Islam. Sources of Islam. Sources of Islam. Sources, sources of, Islam. of Islam. What is that? That's a website. Yeah, my brother, see, this is what I'd be talking about, about wasting my time, man. No, man. No, 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 no. You can talk from the Quran every. If you're going to keep bringing hadiths, uh, we're going to have a lot of argument on the hadiths. But the Quran well, is no, straightforward. You're just going to deny your sources as a regular Muslim does. No. All right. So no, no. bring it. Why is that from Sahih al-Bukhari? Why is that from Sahih so al-Bukhari? You, you, uh, said, you said that all you did was put in Sunan Nasai 3959 and you said that this didn't come up. I just yeah. did that. And it came straight up. The first thing that you see is Sunnah.com 3959 when you put it yeah, in. Yeah, I didn't go to this website. I... So you purposely skipped this website. You purposely skipped Sunnah.com. Uh, Sunna Look, let's go to another one. This is not Sunnah.com. This is ProphetMuhammad.com Nasai slash 3959. The same hadith. You see it? Do you see it on the screen? Look, I'm on a different website now. Chapter four, title, Jealousy. It was narrated from Manas that the messenger had a female slave with whom he had intercourse, but Aisha and Hafsa would not leave him alone until he said that she was forbidden for him. Then Allah, the mighty and sublime, revealed, O prophet, why do you forbid for yourself that which Allah allowed to you? Until the end of the verse. Grade. Sahi. Hold on. Oh, I wasn't sharing this. My bad. Here it is. Ahmed, please come off your mic because I need you to, I need to make sure that you're, that you're looking at this. Do you see this? Yeah. yeah. So do you see how I'm on a different website and it has the same hadith? Yeah. Well, well the so what are you talking yeah, what's about? What's the website you are? Uh, the same site I give you? It's another no. It's another website. I, I put on the website you gave me didn't even come up yet. Sunan.com okay. comes up. Uh, ProphetMuhammad.com comes up. Islam Stack Exchange comes up, where they try to give where it's a bunch of different people randoms that try to give explanation on things. Let me see. 
Uh, let's see here. What is this one? It's 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 Lamuna. It's Lamuna.com. What is this one? Let's see. Sun on the side three nine five nine. Yeah, so this one has a different numbering. This one's going by the old numbering. The one I just clicked on. It has a different numbering. Islamuna.com has a different numbering. Let's see here. Different numbering. Let's see, QuranX.com, same hadith, same numbering. Look, it gives you the Jerusalem reference and it gives you the in-book reference. Book 36, hadith 21. You see it on the screen? You see how it gives you the two different numberings? Yeah. So what do you mean the hadith doesn't exist when multiple websites have it? Yes, I'm saying it doesn't exist on our main books, which is the Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim uh, Avery. Sahih, this... Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari are, are not your only main books. You also have Jami Termidi. You also have Sunan an Nasai. You also have Sunan Ibn Dawood. Yes, but the, the, yes, but in this in this uh, books you just mentioned, they say some some hadith that are authentic, but the same hadith is mentioned in Bukhari, and he say it's a weak hadith. So which one will go Bukhari with? Bukhari never says with... this is a weak hadith. What are you talking about? I mean, some hadith. I'm giving you an example. Some hadith that mentioned in Sunan al uh, Sunan al or uh, hey, or Sunan. Hey, hey, I I got you. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Come on, man. You're gonna do this again? Yeah.